Welcome to the memorial ceremony in honor of Master Sergeant Justin Sway. Please stand for the national anthem and remain standing for the invocation. Please join me in prayer. Gracious and loving God, we gather together in remembrance of a great soldier we have lost. We come with heavy heart, seeking comfort and strength in this time of sorrow. As we honor Master Sergeant Sway's life and memories we share, we ask for your presence to guide us, to heal our pain, and remind us of the love that transcends even death. Help us to support one another in this moment, to share our stories, our grief, and our hope. Surround us with your grace as we walk through this journey together, finding solace in our faith, in our memories, and in each other. We pray in your holy name. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attendance today. Your presence, whether here physically in this chapel or virtually online, is a testament to the indelible mark that the man we gather to honor left on our unit, this community, and the Army as a whole. I'm Colonel Joseph Scott, the commander of the 38th Air Defense Artillery Brigade, and it is my sad privilege to be the first today to honor the memory of an incredible professional leader, husband, and father, Master Sergeant Justin Sweat. Justin Sweat was one of the founding members of the Pacific Guardians Brigade here in Japan. He was our first ever career counselor and created the entire process by which our unit encourages its soldiers to stay in the Army and allows them to reach their fullest potential in service to our great nation. The Army leaders who choose to serve as career counselors must be a combination of salesman, hype man, and mentor, and Justin excelled in all these areas. Over his five years of service with our brigade, he directly or indirectly helped nearly 600 soldiers re-enlist in our Army. Through his unparalleled leadership and expertise, we were twice the best Army unit in the Pacific in retention, and even led this brigade to win the Sergeant Major of the Army's retention competition. Simply put, he was one of the best at his job in the entire U.S. Army. And Justin wasn't just an outstanding career counselor. In the early days of his Army career, he was an exceptional infantryman who served in some of our Army's most prestigious formations during some of the toughest battles in the global war on terror in Iraq and Afghanistan. 
Roy Sachterberg was my first sergeant when I was in the 18th Airborne Corps, and he served with Justin earlier in his career. Royce called Master Sergeant Sweat, quote, one of those guys that push you, end quote. Even when Justin was a junior soldier, his actions and character pushed those peers and leaders around him to excel every single day. Royce told me, quote, he was one of those unparalleled, unwavering dudes that just set the standard. Through his example, inspiration, and motivation, Justin Sweat made every organization he served in better, whether it was a rifle squad or an air defense artillery brigade. But Justin Sweat was not just a phenomenal soldier and leader. He was a devoted husband and a doting father. He was a man who, despite his tough infantrymen out, outside, loved Christmas, and he loved sharing it with his son, Sean. And he was a man who loved his wife, Ashley. I've only been with this brigade for three months, and much of my time here coincided with Justin's transition to retirement. But even as he was moving on from his storied 21-year Army career, he took the time to sit down with me to welcome me to the brigade. He reviewed our youth retention program and explained how he had postured us to continue our trend of excellence in retention, and more importantly, in taking care of our soldiers and their families. His loss is a devastating blow to those who knew him and loved him, even those like me who knew him only for a brief time. But we can all be inspired by the devotion he showed to our Army and its soldiers, by his pursuit of excellence in everything he did, and by the love he showed his friends and his family. Master Sergeant Sweat, thank you for all you do and did to help create our organization and make our soldiers thrive. We'll miss you. I was privileged to know Justin, first as his student, then as his teammate and his commander. And from the, our brief time together, I would like to share some of those pivotal moments and his achievements which reflect Justin's excellence and virtue as both a senior leader and a comrade. I first met Justin when he was selected to train cadre in the testing, the standard, and procedures for the weapons drill during the administration of the expert soldier badge. He earned my respect immediately when after the initial training meeting, I observed him planning with his team to provide supplemental training and testing for over 100 candidates every night. This extra time investment and coaching were not required, nor were, there e were they easy to provide. Master Sergeant Sweat and his cadre had been working a demanding seven day on schedule for weeks in preparation for the commencement of training. Nevertheless, Justin prioritized the success of the students and in doing so modeled what a caring and excellent leader was for his cadre. Justin obviously had the virtues of generosity and fortitude in abundance. And when I later learned that he had led soldiers for five years while deployed to CENTCOM, I knew I was lucky to be in his orbit and that I should pay attention to how he thought. More recently, I learned to rely on Justin in his capacity as the brigade's retention manager. In this difficult role, Justin displayed rare discernment as he helped soldiers navigate big decisions and empowering, empowered them to pursue their Army career goals in a manner consistent with their family goals. Justin's diligence and advocacy positively impacted the lives of over 600 soldiers and their families. It takes experience, knowledge, and a well-developed capacity for empathy to succeed as Master Sergeant Sweat did in that role, all the while mentoring others to succeed and carry on his example. These are only some of my memories. Everyone here today has their own. I believe that wherever we disperse around the globe, we will take our own memories of Justin of his excellence, generosity, 
and kindness with us as a source of wisdom and strength. His life was important to his family, to his team, to this brigade, and to his country. I will miss him. First and foremost, uh, prayers to the family. Uh, Miss Ashley, Little Sean, and everybody here. Uh, one thing about me in Kentucky, and one thing we stress the most is we always talk about family. And I would tell you as a brother and a battle buddy, he loved his family, loved his family dearly. About three years ago, while I was in process in the brigade headquarters, I was lost walking through the building, like most of us in here. And if you've ever been through the brigade headquarters, it can be like a maze. I ended up meeting a true genuine professional in the hallway. We stood there, we chopped it up. In other words, we was talking. And before I knew it, we was in his office, cracking jokes at the water fountain just reminiscing about a few things. I learned that he was the brigade retention NCO. But prior to that, he had combat arms maneuver experience as 11 Bravo. I myself is a track mechanic. So I was able to understand what he had prior to becoming a career counselor. I worked on the toys that he liked to play on as a track mechanic. From talking about being in infantry units, armor units, cow scouts, field artillery, we just grew and become close battle buddies, friends, and brothers. Knowing that I was from the South, and I knew he was from the South. Where you from? Kentucky. And ever since then, that was his name, Kentucky. We always shared a lot of humble conversations. Over time, Kentucky and I, we worked together as true professionals on a couple of projects and events whether it was school packets to help soldiers prosper in their career for enlistments. The biggest one of all, the ESB. For the last two ESBs that made him work together as battle buddies and teams for USAJ launching their first ESB a couple of years ago. For everything that we did, putting that together, late nights, early mornings, sleeping in the office. It was hard, it was tough, but one thing I knew about Kentucky, he wanted the event, the training event, to be successful. Not only for USAJ, but for every service member, leader, and soldiers that attended the training. And he wanted to make sure that he did his best to make sure that it was executed flawlessly. These are just some things that we worked on together, and he was recognized for that. But the most important one of all we worked on was becoming close battle buddies. And we grew past that and became brothers. From phone calls, text messages, checking on each other, walking to either the Georgia Dome or Rumparita, that's what we called the offices. From me being laid out on the sofa chair in his office, talking about family, retirement, to him coming into Georgia Dome, laid back in his chair, talking about family, retirement. But most importantly, we talked about the unit, the soldiers. And one thing about two master blasters that's been in for a while, one thing we talked about was ensuring that sometimes we forget that the is about the soldier. And that was one thing me in Kentucky talked about the most. What can we do for the soldiers?
Kentucky cared about every soldier and leader within and outside of the 38th 88th Brigade. He did everything he could to help service members prosper and go forward with their future careers as a Brigade Retention NCO. Hands down, a solid professional that cared. As hard as it was for me to come here and stand here and talk about my brother today. Like I always told you, man, I love you and I'm proud of you. I always have been. Kentucky, I'm standing here because North Carolina and Jersey, they reeled me in. They helped me stand here today to be that brother that I was to you. So I appreciate that, North Carolina, and I appreciate that, Jersey. I will always be there for you, man. The family, friends and loved ones. Me in North Carolina, Jersey was talking a couple of days ago, and I told him, I said, man, last thing I told North Carolina, last thing I told Kentucky, I said, man, I love you. Gave my brother a hug. So I'm happy and I'm proud of you. I said, you made it, bruh. And I'm right behind you. Kentucky, we're right behind you. Georgia, North Carolina, and Jersey. And we standing here, bruh, showing all this love that you gave to the unit the organization and the army, and most importantly, your family. Your family, I cannot stress how much we talked about family. I can go on and on, but I don't wanna do that. Because he touched not only me, but he touched everybody in this organization across the Pacific. Never missed a phone call, never missed a text. It was always there for him. And I'm still here, man. I'm still here, bro. Nothing but Southern love. You got the state of Mississippi and the state of South Carolina. The South is in here tight, like we always talked about. Kentucky, my boy, blue. Georgia red, everything. Good afternoon to the family of Master Sergeant Justin Sweat and all others in attendance, whether in person or virtual. When I was asked to speak, I was somewhat at a loss of what to talk about, about Master Sergeant Sweat, because there's so much I could talk about. Myself and Master Sergeant Sweat had a very special relationship. When I checked into 38th ADA Brigade, and I met him for the first time. He asked me a little bit about myself, and as a good Marine will do, they'll tell you from the get-go, I'm a Marine. And so Mass Sergeant Sweat grinned real big, shook his head up and down, and he said, you know, I love Marines. Y'all will all do anything for just a little bit of adrenaline. And so I eventually concluded that for today, the best way to describe Mass Sergeant Sweat is to use three words. And the first word is wise. Mass Sergeant Sweat was a tough and solid son of a gun. And that toughness came from a lot of experience. He had several deployments and served in many different capacities through his career. And these experiences and knowledge that he gained over the years, he made sure that he passed down to the younger officers NCOs, and junior soldiers. If there was one thing that Mass Art Sweat enjoyed and had a real knack for, it was teaching and mentoring. I would come to his office numerous times, even when I should have been doing the taskings that First Art Tucker gave me. But I came there just to talk to him, just to see if I could draw out a good story or two, because I always loved to hear them. 
There have been countless soldiers in random conversation say that masks aren't sweat taught them something about this, that, or the third. You know, and that just started with a simple conversation. So I know the knowledge and wisdom he shared was cherished and appreciated by all those that he imparted it on. And the second word is humble. Master Art Sweat has so many achievements and reached so many milestones in his career. And the thing about him was you would never hear him brag about any of them because he just wasn't the type to do that. This was another reason why I had to go to his office because I had to make him brag about himself and talk about himself. Because if not, he wouldn't do it. He gave so much to, of himself to others, his bravery, his knowledge, his kindness, his love, and those gifts he gave to so many others will never be forgotten. The third word is caring. Mess Arnt Sweat cared about soldiers immensely. He knew that he did not have to do what he was doing for so many years, but he loved to help soldiers. He loved sitting and talking with soldiers to see how he could help them make great decisions about their career, their life, and their family. Because the Master Arnt Sweat always said, family is everything, and he dearly loved his family. Mr. Sweat, I sincerely thank you for sharing your husband with us. And please know that we stand with you in your grief and in your love for him. His life was a genuine light in our world and especially mine. And we are all better for having known him. He truly meant so much to so many people And I know I'm running short on time, so mess our sweat. Thank you for your service, your sacrifice, your knowledge, and for being the extraordinary person that you were. You will absolutely be missed. And I don't hand these out very often. The Semper Fi, mess our sweat. I love you. Good afternoon. Firstly, I would like to express the most sincere condolences to the Sweat family. I know in my heart that the weight of this loss is immeasurable. Secondly, to the Brigade and Battery Command teams, thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak today. Three years ago, new to Japan and the Brigade, I was introduced to Master Sergeant Sweat. He was the first person who truly took the time to talk and get to know me. That initial impression never lessened throughout the countless hours that I was fortunate enough to have spent with him. And I can honestly say that the immense level of care for each and every one of us that he exhibited day in and day out will forever remain unmatched. For those lucky enough to have considered him a friend, know this especially to be true. I will forever be thankful to count myself among the lucky. I hope that we may all find peace in remembering all that he has done for us and our country and the monu monumental impact he made on the lives of so many throughout his life. Thank you, Master Sergeant Sweat, and say on. We gather today to honor and remember Master Sergeant Justin Sweat, a soldier, a friend, and a loved one who has left us far too soon. In this moment, we come together to grieve, to support one another, and to offer our hearts to the family, friends, and comrades who feel the deepest loss. During times like this, we can find comfort in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. Today, we hold on to the truth that in our brokenness and in our grief, we are not alone. 
God walks with us. We also have each other as a family. A family forged not by blood, but by the commitment to the same cause, the defense of our freedoms and preservation of peace. Together, we can bear the way of this loss with unwavering support of God and each other, finding strength in our unity. Master Sergeant Sweat was a dedicated soldier who served his country with honor and pride. His life was filled with service, sacrifice, and camaraders with his fellow soldiers. Mrs. Sweat shared an example with me. Master Sergeant Sweat didn't go home during the week. He helped lead the expert soldier badge competition. He slept in his office and under his desk to offer his best to support the fellow soldiers. It was his passion to help soldiers to earn the badge. After listening to soldiers talking about Master Sergeant Sweat, I can confidently say that he influenced the lives of many. He sacrificed for others and was the one of the best retention NCOs the Army has ever seen. The way he supported and helped other soldiers was tremendous. He didn't just show his love to his extended family, the soldiers. He showed his love to his family, his wife Ashley, and his son Sean. When I visited Mrs. Sweat, she shared an amazing story about Master Sergeant Sweat, one after another. I was touched and realized that Master Sergeant Sweat was not only an outstanding soldier, but also a great husband and a wonderful father at home. His love to his family was as strong as his commitment to his duty. We can serve his memory by retaining his examples, maintaining his level of dedication, and caring for each other as he cared for each of us and his family. This kind of memory will remain in our hearts. The dedication and love he showed us will be the example we continue to carry, inspiring us to give our best in all we do and to love each other. Let us honor him by living up to his standards and carry forward his legacy. In John 16, verse 33, Jesus said, In this world you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. We are not alone in our troubles. We can overcome, and together we will carry the memory of Master Sergeant Sweat in our hearts, never forgetting the light he brought into our lives. His memory will continue to guide and comfort us, reassuring us that he is always with us in spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the benediction and remain standing for the final roll call, the filing of volleys, and the sounding of taps. Please join me, join me in prayer. Almighty God, we stand here today in solemn remembrance of Master Sergeant Sweat. He has given his life in service to our nation. We honor Master Sergeant Sweat's courage, his sacrifice, and un unwavering dedication to the cause of freedom. We ask that you comfort the family and the loved one of Master Sergeant Sweat, granting them peace and strength as they bear the way weight of their loss. Surround them with your grace and mercy. As we leave this place, may we carry with us the memory of Master Sergeant Sweat, who we honor today. May his example inspire us to live with the same dedication to the values of justice, courage, and service to others. In your holy name we pray, amen. Special Assurance, Air First Sergeant, Sergeant.
Sergeant Stalling. Here for Sergeant. Specialist Stan. Here for Sergeant. Master Sergeant Swift. Master Sergeant Justin Swift. Master Sergeant Justin Purcell Swift. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our memorial ceremony. Please remain in your places until the official party, family, and senior leaders have paid their final respects. At that moment, you may come forward as directed by the ushers to pay your final respect. Those who must depart may then take their leave.